Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Boat Club. Down here at the Boat Club docks, we're getting ready to set sail for another half an hour-ish of improvised comedy. And what does improv mean? It means it's all made up on the spot. A baby. And wow, half an hour of improv comedy on my own. That sounds like lunacy of the highest order. What am I, a lunatic? Should I be locked up in Arkham Asylum? Mm -hmm. No, because I'm not doing this on my own. I'm doing this with a pair of boys with whom I share all my toys, including the adult ones, if you know what I mean. I'm on about my risk, uh, my monopoly, um, and my chessboard. Um, introducing, as always, the man in Canada who loves a good flanada. It's Johnny Yachtsville, a.k.a. John. Hi, John. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me on the show, Joseph. No problem. <laughs> and, of course, the man down south who only gold comes out his mouth, it's Tommy Tugboat, <laughs> a.k.a. Tom. Hey, Tom. Captain, I got lost at sea for five years and I've become a man. And it's me, Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> You're right, it was gold. I just looked, um, I just Absolutely looked, gold. actually, at our... Um, our last episode that was posted on the YouTube uh, channel. And it the last episode was episode 69. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Wait, we've had 69 episodes on YouTube? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah. also, boys, congratulations yeah. to making it to the big uh, 70th episode. As we all know, um, we've done one of these a week. So this is week 70 of lockdown. Um, yeah. <laughs> God, how about yeah. that Boris, eh? Oh, I tell you what, he seems to really bring in the country together, doesn't he? <laughs> you know what? Let's just. There you go. Anyway, John, as uh, we see, saw you weren't clapping your hands, was that because you were clapping dem cheeks? Yeah. For the uh, <laughs> listeners at home who aren't watching this, not, not that I'm saying this will get made into a podcast episode, but just if you're refusing to acknowledge that it's a YouTube video and have put it on, close your laptop. Um, John's eating a biscuit at the moment, which is why he's currently not responding. It's not that we've had some massive feud since we last spoke. No, not I mean, I mean, we have, but that's yeah. not the reason. No, 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 but we're, we're, we're adults, you know, we've had this yeah. feud, we hate each other, but we're going to continue Boat Club and pretend that we're friends. Absolutely. For the business. Yeah, yeah that's why business. you had to move. Because this is making so much money for me. Yeah, you had to move so across money. the Atlantic to put yeah. an ocean between us to stop the fire of hatred we produce. I could mm. only afford to go to Canada because of Boat Club. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you actually got re you got reduced uh, rates on the boat across the Atlantic Ocean because yeah. of of the ties to boat club. Uh, that being said, we like to um, thank uh, 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 P and O Cruises for uh, <laughs> uh, for this um, uh, for their free tickets and board that they gave to uh, John. So uh, to to P and O, long may they treat their workers with respect. P and P and P and O, P and, and O, if, P and, and O. And hey, if, even if they don't, we don't mind. Uh, yeah. We'd also like to say a big shout out to Beats by Dre. Uh, none of us have Beats by Dre at the moment, I don't think. Um, but yeah, we'd like some. Hey, a uh, big shout out to uh, Versace. Um, we've got to deal with them at the moment. Uh I'm not wearing any Versace right now, but just to let everybody know. Yeah. Uh, shout out to McDonald's. We've got a deal with them where um, if you go to a McDonald's and say, could I have this made into a large meal deal? They will give you a large fries and a drink with it for an increased price. Uh, yeah, big shout follow, follow. out to uh, sorry, just one one shout out from me. Um, yeah. uh, just big 
big shout out to uh, Big Boy's Lemonade. Hmm, I'm a big boy and I want some lemonade. <laughs> 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 A uh, big shout out to bread. If you're making a sandwich, use bread. Yeah. <laughs> big shout out to uh, the <laughs> sister company of bread. Uh, big shout out to the sister company of bread toast. Uh, if you like bread but warm, that's toast. Uh, we want to make it very clear we are sponsored by both bread and toast. We have no commercial ties to toasters whatsoever. We'll be fully transparent. We have been contacted by the toaster lobby. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, um, yeah. But we have <laughs> big, not reached a deal toaster. with them yet. So yeah. do toast your bread, but we can't tell you how to toast it. Mm. <clears throat> Get ready for episode 71, where we tell you if the deal with toaster has gone through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same time next week, guys. <laughs> Do you, do you think I'm going to be able to remember this joke by the end of the episode, let alone <laughs> potentially in six months' time when we record episode 71? Yeah, it really you... does depend oh. what we do. Whoa. Whoa. Ho. Oh. Hey, now. Yeah, that's true. It's hey been now. eight months. Um, wow. Wowzers. Uh, but with that in mind, <laughs> boys, do you want to do some improv? Sure. Y yeah, sure, sure. Sure. So I thought, let's take it back to basics. Three words. One from each of us, off the top of our head. We have not consulted with each other, you know, for us when we're watching this back later, aka the audience. Um, we didn't consult on these beforehand. These will all be words that we have never heard before. Mm -hmm. Well, we have possibly heard the words before, but we won't have heard them today. <laughs> if not, I do have a dictionary on standby. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah um, we're just going to get a word from each of us and use those to do some short form scenes and if at any point any of us want to end a scene we will say edit and at the end of it or possibly one or all of us will say and that's the show that's when you know the show's done but don't click off the video immediately just then because there's half a chance that we will continue for like five minutes more doing this sort of rubbish afterwards. And by rubbish, I mean, Tom, gold. Gold. Right out of this mouth. Always <laughs> believe in your soul. That's beautiful and singing. Thank you for, yeah, for one, also making it tuneful, but not the precise tune, so we can't get sued. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, I, was, yeah I, get... I was one note off. <laughs> yeah. So three, so three words, Joe, huh? Yeah, three yeah. words. Hey, uh, Tom, do you have a mm. word? Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Good mm. word, John. You. Do you have a word? Uh, let's go for coil. Coil. Mm. Yeah. Bookshelf and coil, and I'm gonna go for <clears throat> sesame. And not as in eh, says a me, I says a this. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, boys, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And as always, we will begin in three, two, two, two one. one. Boat club. Boat club. Boat club. Yeah. Okay. We cut to um, a adventurer in some sort of ancient desert land uh who's just gone into a cave and yeah hmm i wonder how i get past this door hmm seems to be pretty pretty locked shut if you want to pass <gasps> this door 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 wow think where you were before Ah, um, outside. <laughs> that was... Edit. <laughs> <laughs> we cut to a library. Shh. What? I'm trying to listen to a podcast. I was okay. 
Shh. What? Oh, what? <laughs> what? It's going to a really good bit. I'm reading. Can you read quietly? Oh, my God. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, yes. Uh, I've just. Uh, uh, a couple of uh, other the library customers, uh, they've uh, been complaining about how you've actually been, uh, you, you've been reading quite enthusiastically. Um, and I'm afraid that we can't have that in the library. We've got, uh, we've got our podcast stations over there. Um, and uh, we've got our books over here, but you, they need to be able to hear their podcast. Okay, really important. Oh, so can you please oh, react oh, a little bit less? Hi, loud? Uh, I was just over there listening to yes. the CBBS podcast, and yeah. this man kept shouting "a wooga" every time he read an interesting paragraph. It's really getting to be disruptive. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, well, I'm oh, just talking oh, about oh, him oh. now. I'm just talking to him now. Okay. I'm okay, sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. I I can't believe what I'm hearing. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm enjoying this good book, and I'm enjoy. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying. It. I've come to the library <laughs> to enjoy a good read. And now you're telling me that I can't enjoy? Okay, so so, so we a do have um no, no sir sir we we do have uh, a section for um people that like to read in the way that you do um people who like to read go to a library everything is available to them no yes yes but I mean, <laughs> unfortunately the book that you're currently reading um uh, is is uh, one of our one of our more um, enthusiastic reads, and we do have an enthusiastic um, room for enthusiastic books. So if you, you, have, like, you you're telling me you're telling me you you're telling me you have a room yes. for romantic for romantic pirate novels. Yes, we, we do. cut we to um, a year down the line, and this man um, he's written his own romantic pirate novel, and he's doing a public reading of it, um, but also. <laughs> It's been so long since he's written it that he can't remember what he's written. <laughs> chapter, chapter three. The long sea ahead. Whoa! Wow! 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 Oh! Oh no! Uh, guys, guys, that was just the title of the. The chapter. Hang on, let guys, 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 let's all just guys, can we just calm down? Let me just at least read the first sentence, please. Thank you. Okay, we cut to a um, uh, a petting zoo. Uh, we go to the reptile enclosure within a petting zoo. All right, who wants to pet the salamander? I would love to pet the salamander. Sh sure. Um, come on over. Thank you. Thank so... you for choosing me and not another child. So, how old are you? I'm 53 years old. <laughs> what does that, that have to do? What What does that have to do with anything? I, I, I'm, I'm just. Da I'm Daddy, just... Daddy, could yes. I perhaps could I perhaps no. touch the salamander? No, no it's oh. my turn. It's my okay. turn. You've You've okay. touched many. You've touched many an animal. You okay. You had You had all the goats. I didn't Ugh. get to pet one goat. I'm. <laughs> Okay, fine. Stand back, please. Right. Yes, of course. Jason, two Jason steps stand back. back. Jason, stand back. Two steps back, back from father, of course. Okay, one, where's, this, where's this salamander? Right, so um, what I'm going to explain to you first is that Just salamanders... before we continue, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Just before we continue, you see that boy there, Jason. Hello. Is I want you to keep an eye on him. When I touch the salamander, I want you to keep an eye on him because he is going to go darting towards him. Okay? 
He's gonna he's going to touch the salamander before I do. He's done it before. He's done it to the goats. And he did it and he did it to that chimpan he did it to that small chimpanzee. Okay. I was this close to touching that chimpanzee's head. And Jason, Jason came out of nowhere. So keep your eyes on him. Okay, so can I please just explain to you the correct way to pet a salamander? Yes, please. Go because on. you don't want to frighten the animal. It's uh, you, you hear don't... that, Jason? You hear that, Jason? <laughs> I don't want to frighten the animal. I want to touch it. No. I want to touch it with my hands, with my <laughs> tiny it. infant hands. If you touch it with your tiny infant hands, it will get scared. Listen to what the man what? says. Now yes, stand back. Father. Sorry, okay. back, Father. Yes. So what I'm going to ask you to do is put on this special salamander touching glove. This You hear that, Jason? The... You hear that, Jason? I have the glove. Not you. I have the glove. <laughs> you can't it doesn't touch look like the it... salamander. Father, it doesn't look like it fits your hands. It will fit. <laughs> it will fit. It looks like it's more made for my tiny infant no, hands. it will fit. It will fit. Give me that glove. Give me that glove. Okay, but do bear in mind that if you stretch the glove too much, you do have to pay for a replacement glove. Fuck, it's tight. It's tight. Tight. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is, when the salamander comes out, is take your middle and ring fingers, and you are going to uh, put your thumb up like this, and when you see the salamander... Stroke it while going a bop 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 bop, and that's so you, how you, you did. You did say middle finger and ring finger, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this. Okay, so this is an yeah, yeah. odd shape um, looking. Yeah, what you want to do is get that one ready in case you need to take the safety off. Um, okay. Because okay. salamander. Did you hear that, Jason? <laughs> you can't do finger guns, Jason. Oh. Jason, you, I, I see you doing the finger gun action that he's yes. telling. I'm looking, I can see you hearing him. I'm preparing my infant hands. <laughs> no, no, no. Put those, put those fingers away behind it's your a, back. I'll put them in the holsters. Holsters. He thinks, it, it's he a, thinks pockets are holsters. That's what he calls pockets. It's important to note that please only be touching the salamander for one second intervals along its body and not with the hand that doesn't have the special glove on it because human oh. hands are too warm combined with salamander's hot blood the salamander will explode actually jason do you want to give this a try <laughs> <laughs> edit, edit. <laughs> uh we um we cut to uh we, we we cut to um, a metal manufacturing plant. Well, I guess we better make some metal then. It's metal time. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I've, uh, I've got my I've got my guitar. I've got my guitar. Should we make some metal then or not? Uh, so, sorry, sorry. Wait, hang on a second, guys. Sorry, it, it just. I don't. I don't want to stop production. I don't want to like get in your grills, but it kind of feels like you guys aren't into this as much as I am. Um, I just want to. I just want to help the band. Right, but it's metal time. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys are like, oh, let's do some music. Let's let's get let's let's do some metal. And I am bringing the energy, and you two, it. You know, we hired the factory for band practice. Yeah, and it just kind of feels like you guys are not as into it as I am. Well, what do you want us to do? I love metal. Yeah. I love right. metal music. Yeah. I love metal the element. Yeah. Right. Don't look it up. 
Don't I don't have to look it up. I can tell you metal's not an element specifically. It is to me. It's a group of them. It's, it yeah. is to me. It's the only element I think about. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Where do you think on the periodic table it just says M? Metal. The periodic what? Is that where we eat our food? <laughs> I can't tell whether you two are taking things very literally or not at all. Listen, I love metal music. I grew yeah. up with it. I don't listen yeah. to any other type of music, okay? And so when yeah. I say it's metal time, I'm in it. A hundred percent to win it. And you what guys do you think we should do? Is, that you what guys can we do to make it better for you? Um, better for just, me? I, yeah. I think we should... Ask one question. Yeah. If metal is the only thing you listen to, when you say it's metal time, doesn't that just mean it's time? Yeah. What's your point? Just that, that there's no distinguish between, distinguish See, between this is, metal time and non-metal time for you. This is what I mean, All time is, is metal what I time. Mean. This is what I mean. Well, instead of, like, banging and, and thumping and playing the music, yeah. we're instead talking about um, what it means to be metal. You, you, it, there is no conversation. You just are metal, okay? And you're yeah. bringing the... You know what? I'm going to... I'm I'm saying it. I yeah. think I should just go solo. Whoa. Whoa, hang on. Hang on now. Like you need to think about this. We've been a band for like the last like two hours now. This is our first practice and it's been really I feel like we've really found a lot about each other. You know, like I think that uh Barry over there, I think he's great. Uh and you know, you get uh Ke is it Kevin? I I don't even know. Yes, that's right. My name is Kevin Ke Shields. Ah, Kevin <laughs> Shields. So I, I just think that you'd be great. I just don't know what type of metal you're into. So uh, that could be good oh. if we knew. Also, Kevin, can you please stop looking at the floor? No. The boys are up here. No. We're in a metal factory. There's loads of different shards of metal all over this factory. And also, I have a lot of pedals. <laughs> Listen, listen, guys. I just feel like you guys aren't a hundred percent committed, and I had to I, it would, take I, out I, a second more just listen. to rent this place for one practice. I can okay. That's <laughs> this fair. is a fully functioning factory. <laughs> <laughs> we we see a bunch of wor uh, metal workers in the distance, just <laughs> waiting for them to finish. Hmm. Okay, I wonder if they're going to finish. So, oh. <laughs> I was hoping to make some engine coils today. <laughs> yeah. Guys, guys, listen to me. <laughs> I want us very similarly to how LCD Sound System created their album of uh, Sound of Silver. I want to yeah. infuse ourselves in metal. Mm. Um, you do know that album wasn't just them recording various bits of silver. Then why is it called that? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Does no. It's a metaphor, I guess. A meta what? <laughs> <laughs> uh we cut to uh we cut to a pig farm. Oh Bessie. Come here, you disgusting creature. Come here. <laughs> I'm here, Bessie. Oh, that's right. Throw up. <coughs> Disgusting. Come here, Bessie. There we go. There you are, Bessie. <laughs> You're a sick little piggy, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, you've been swallowing chunks again, haven't you? <laughs> Bessie, listen to me. I... I'm afraid we're going to have to let you go from the pig farm. <laughs> your, your, your quarterly has not been... <laughs> the, the quarterly report ha wasn't handed in on time. We cut to um, <laughs> Bessie the pig. Um, 
trying to claim unemployment benefits. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so it says here that you uh, worked on a farm for a while. <laughs> Can I just ask, what did your uh, sort of roles and responsibilities uh, include within that farm? Right. Okay. Okay. Great. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. We we mm. cut to we cut to Bessie at home with his wife. What do you mean you got laid off? I got a half human, half pig baby in the next room waiting for daddy to come home. Goo goo. <laughs> it said its first words. It said goo goo oink oink. And you weren't around for that. <laughs> we got to <laughs> We got to them at a marriage counselor. <laughs> So, so you've been together for a number of years now, and, seven and um, a half years. Seven and a half. And and, and where did you think? Uh, where do you think some of the tensions are within your relationship? Should we start with? Um, should we start with you, <laughs> Barry? Uh, with me? Uh, sure. Yeah. Well, but I feel like Bessie. When I first met Bessie, it was electric. Yeah, it was just it was it was like it was like two pigs and shit. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> Bessie, for the expression. But it just it just felt yeah. right. And then and then yeah. with and then for some reason we just we just got our wires crossed, and it felt like you didn't have mm. any love for anything that you did, Bessie, and that can, included me. Can I just ask a, a quick question here now? Yes. Um, of course, you know, I feel like often gender roles are something that people come into the uh, therapy or counselling rather session with. Um, and I was just wondering, uh, with Bessie being the, the main, uh, I suppose, supply of income, um, Barry, how did you feel that uh, Bessie was always the one bringing home the bacon? Was that something that... Um... Oh, uh, that's very inappropriate. That's very Sorry? Inappropriate, so. Sorry? That's our son's name. Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? So, sorry, your, your child's name's Bacon. Um, <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, and and how old is Bacon now? Uh, must be about three months. Three months. Wow. And uh, how has how have they been? You know, being how a half baby, half pig. Uh, surprisingly, <laughs> okay. That's a very weird question. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't really appreciate it. Mm. Uh, so uh, this is this is yeah, you ever, you, you're, you're a therapist. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Bessie. You're you, this is my the first time that I've had a a, a, a pig and non non pig. Um, what did you call me? Session a, a non pig. We cut to a different counselling session where the therapist was dealing with just two pigs. <laughs> <laughs> this this feels right. This feels like I can work with this. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> um, we cut to uh, a uh, a bookshop. It's a, uh, a a book reading has just taken place. All right, thank you, everybody. Let's uh, let's give the author a big round of applause again. So, of course, um, now uh, is the time when we open up the floor for anyone who has questions for the author. Uh, please keep it about the book. But I know there's a lot of salacious gossip flying around, but please let's keep it on the book. So, I'm going to hand over right now to. The, uh, yeah, uh, the mic to you, um, please, once again. Questions about the book only. Hi, thanks. Um, so uh, I, I was wondering, what's your favourite ice cream? Sorry, I said questions about the book for the author only. Oh, sorry. Um, so when you were writing the book, uh, ha like, what was your go-to ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're now going to pass over the mic to the author. Um, Sorry. To... Oh, okay. We've got yeah. another question. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I, I, I want to hear the answer to this. Sorry. 
Okay, in that case, uh, yeah, now um, uh, he's a bit shy, but please let's uh, welcome back on stage to answer the question, uh, Spoigo Robinson. Spoigo, uh, yeah, you've been asked when you're writing your book, what's your favorite ice cream? Oh, he's, he's still a bit shy, so um, can we just move on to the next question? Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, I really loved the part in the book which addressed um, a lot of race relations, uh, especially in uh, the US at the time of the, the, the book is set. Um, and I was just wondering if, uh, if you were gonna choose mm. absolutely anything <laughs> to go with your ice cream, would it be cone <laughs> or would it be um, like a bowl? Now, look, um... I can actually answer this one for you um, because we've got the press release here to accompany the book. And it states that the author, um, Spoigo Robinson, explicitly eats their ice cream, no matter what flavor, um, from a bowl with sprinkles on the left side only. Uh, any questions about the mm. book? Uh guess yeah you sure you sir okay um <clears throat> right uh so with the with the book uh i'm gonna be honest i haven't read it um and i had no i've got no real interest in reading it at all but uh, can i, I just ask you sorry were you listening during the bit just then when the author was reading it though sorry were you listening just now when you heard the first two chapters read out loud? No, no. I think he just walked in. I think. Yeah. Oh, just, oh, okay. No, sorry. I've just I've just walked in. Um, so I was just wondering. Um, <laughs> could I get a um, could I get a medium ninety nine, please? <laughs> <laughs> With some red sauce and a flake. A medium ninety nine. So you want what a kind of forty five point five? Yeah, yeah. Can I just get that, please? Um, <laughs> that sounds really good. I'll have one too. <laughs> um, all right. Um, he he pulls a, sh a lever on the shelf, and the books flip away to reveal that it's also an ice cream parlor. <laughs> <laughs> edit, edit, edit. All right. We we cut to um, we cut to a desert, and the adventurer that we saw earlier is uh is adventuring. Well, uh, I didn't really do too. Oh, 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 a, a ghost. Oh, no. Oh, two ghosts. Uh, Welcome to our oasis, young oh. trapper. Oh, great. I was getting thirsty. That's great. Please yeah. have a seat. A s what? A seat? This is crazy. I am going to sit down. <laughs> ah, it's just sand. Ooh. Oh, no, I fell onto my bottom. If you wish to survive, you yeah. must answer this question. What is it? Answer I'm this question and you will survive. So if I if I don't answer the question or answer it incorrectly, I die. You will be trapped in the desert forever. Oh no, what peril? But if you answer it, you stand a chance of escaping the desert. That was forever. Made, that was made that was made that was implicit by the other ghost. If you want to survive in the desert. You'll have to answer this question. <laughs> oh, God. It sure is getting hot. Oh. If you wish to survive in the desert, all you have to do is answer one question. And it's the question we will be asking you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> For there are many perils in this desert. We, we got to four hours later <laughs> in the heat of the midday sun. Oh. oh, it looks oh. like he's died. <laughs> Guess like he didn't dead. answer the question. It answered the question in time. 
uh, another adventurer comes along. <laughs> oh no, what has happened to, to this adventurer? Oh, he didn't ghosts. answer the question. <laughs> he did not answer the question. But a if question? you answer it, What's you will question? find. What? What was that? What's the question, two ghosts? How dare you? We will be asking the questions here. Only we will ask the one question <laughs> that will yes. prove whether you survive or not. Oh, and no! If, and if you do answer the question correctly, you survive. And if you do oh. not answer the question correctly, you survive not. <laughs> oh, phew. I sure do want to answer this question then, don't I, then, ghosts? Many travellers have come far and wide to answer this question that we will provide. <laughs> it cuts to another four hours later. <laughs> oh, he's dead again. <laughs> he's another one went down and died in the hot sun. All right. Um, number three, another adventurer comes forward and there's a queue of people there <laughs> waiting with tickets. Uh, number three, have you got your headshot? Uh, yes, yeah, it's just Let's here. Let's have a look yes. at it. Let's have oh, a look at it, please. Here you are. Congratulations, you answered the question! Oh, oh God. God. Yay! <laughs> okay, the rest of you can go home. We found our Aladdin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and edit. Sometimes it's just nice to take a breath, isn't it? Just just join me for it, boys. Just breathe in. And out. <sighs> uh, Tom couldn't help but notice uh, you didn't... didn't sound like it was as satisfying for you. Uh, everything okay? Sorry, Joe. There's just a lot of tension at the moment, you know? First right. time doing improv in a while, uh, just feeling really tense. Yeah. So. I think you've been doing great, Tom. Hey, thanks, John. I think I think we've all been doing great. We've all been having a great show, and uh, and yeah, just a lot of fun. You know. And can I just say, John, I think you did a great job of reassuring Tom just then. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Joe, I just want to say that was really nice what you just said to John there about how he reassured me. So thank you for that, John. Joe. Hey. Thank you, Tom. And yeah. you know what? Um, I just want to say to you, Tom, uh, don't internalise the fact that you got me and John mixed up just then in terms of saying Joe and John as the wrong names. Uh, it's an easy mistake. Any of us could have made it. Yeah. Hey, Joe, I want to emphasise how honest and pure you were at calling Tom out at that. I think a lot of people would have just let it slide and we would never talk about it, about it again. But yeah. I think yeah. that would have that would have lingered on all of our minds but i'm yeah. glad that you called it out and you reassured I... tom i thought that was very good can i just say i'm really glad that we're just sort of like moving past it now uh the fact that you know i mixed up your names for a second there we're just moving <laughs> we're just moving past it which is great um because i was actually i was a little bit nervous when i said it but i'm glad that you guys being such great friends which means we're going to move past it forget about it forget it ever happens you know <laughs> yeah <clears throat> tom i think you're very brave of saying that what, what do you mean? Why? why? I really like a lot of us wouldn't have the internal courage to really come back after a massive screw up. Yeah, like that. yeah, Tom, you that did. was embarrassing. You did, Tom that, um... Tom. that was highly embarrassing. But you're lucky enough to have two great friends who yeah. don't if, mind. If, yeah. if that had been Thanks. John, yeah. he would have gone off Skype and yeah. not spoken to us for eight months. You no. know, you know what? That's actually a great point, John. Uh, jo Joe, that's a great point, Joe. Hey, any of oh, us could have God. made the mistake. E anybody. Oh, Joe, I just want to thank any you for calling that out again and saying to Tom that anybody could make that mistake because honestly, like, I think Tom oh, desperately God, needs this. What the fuck is wrong yeah. with me? Oh, my God. Tom, hey, I just um, want to thank you. I want to thank you for saying what is wrong with me, like, in terms yeah. of like, that. Yeah, no, I, I think I, that's... I feel like you have, you, you, have to, you have to make peace with your mistakes and by uh, blaming yourself, I think it's the yeah. cool way of doing it. Yeah, no, thank and, you. Uh, um, John, I just want to say thank you to you for once again reassuring Tom because we both yeah, know he's yeah, in the middle yeah, of making yeah. the biggest mistake of his life. Yeah. And you're well, letting him know that he's not actually <laughs> ruining the only two friendships he has left with this. Yeah. Tom, yeah. And also, can I just yeah. say, John, have you lost weight? Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Tom, Tom, but, I just want yeah, to say. Yes. I, Tom, I just want to really quickly say <laughs> that um, I haven't forgotten about the mistake that you made with uh, with yeah. me and Joseph, and um, yeah. I have been very nice to you, but internally and yeah. realistically, yeah. I yeah. hate it, and I hate you. No, no, and I, I never want to see you yeah. again. Oh but no! I, just, really I nice do just want to. Really on it. Yeah, I just want to I, piggyback off what John said because yeah. I think it's important to acknowledge that actually what you've done is made me realize I have no faith or love in any of humanity anymore because of it. Yeah. But I, I, uh, yeah, it's not entirely because of you, just like mostly. Guys, I just wanted to say like, um, really big, like, really big thank you uh, for for really, you know, uh, calling me out, but also being obviously so um, supportive because, you know, obviously there was that, that thing that happened recently where um, uh, all of my friends um, just stopped talking to me. Uh, my family kind of disowned me uh, yeah. after I made those those tweets. So I just wanted to say a really big thank you for um, for for you know still talking to me. That's that's really kind. And I'm sorry if I've like said anything to upset you, but um, you know, like. Um, I mean, it's been a really tough time, but I'm glad that, you know, even when I make a mistake, you guys are just there to, and we're going to move past it, you know, move past it. It's fine. <laughs> um, Tom, that was, that was very, yeah. that was very nice. Um, Thanks. Thank you. Is it, that okay was, that was I, supportive. is it okay if I confront the real issue here? Yeah. Um, and John, I'm sure this has been weighing on your mind too. Um, yeah. The, the yeah. tweet. Yeah. Yeah. Where you said, just yeah. watch Paddington 2 more like Taddington Poo. Yeah, I mean, I you know what? I really misread the room. You. I can't yeah. forgive you for that. I really I misread the room. Uh, I get you were in a dark place at the time, but you no, didn't have to yeah. take this out on Paddington. He's a fictional bear. Yeah. He's really fucked up. I mean, I mean it, it is, you know... I just think after the, the courts uh, decided, you know, what was going to happen to me... Uh, I think that it's only it's only right. I mean, I'm on the boat now. Um, I'm on the boat. They're, send, they're sending me back. Yeah, they're sending me back to. Uh, they're sending me to Peru uh, as a punishment. Uh, darkest Peru. Um, and I think. Yeah, but that... did you have to tweet Peru more like Papu just after the sentencing? Yeah, I just I just thought it, again it would be good to lighten the mood with a bit of comedy. Uh, but obviously, you know, like I've I've got that. I've got. I know that I've got that comedy brain, and sometimes it's a gift, sometimes it's a curse. You know, uh, so I just wanted to say, guys, thank you for supporting me through this. I think I think we've all learned a valuable lesson, which is a comedy I'm brain. Shit. I'm a comedy brain is is uh, will live forever, but Tom Pullen should die alone in Peru. <laughs> <laughs> We cut to uh, we, we cut to uh, we cut to a bookstore where um, the the there's a famous writer. Hi, sorry. Um, I loved your book. Um, mm. It was uh, really great. I, I can I get it autographed? Of okay. course, yes, of course. Here you are. Yeah. Listen, I I I was at. The um, like last week when you had that seminar about your book and everybody was asking about ice cream. I I, sh mm. I truly don't care about the ice cream. Your book was genuinely like life assuring for me, and th those were silly questions. It had nothing yes. to do with ice cream. You 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 have you're a powerful writer, and you 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 tell powerful stories, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Of all of my stories, which one uh, do you like the most? Um, well, if you just hand me back my book, I'll just show no, you. No, no. Oh, okay. Um, you answer, and then you get the book back. <laughs> okay. Hi, uh, uh, Mr. Spoigo Robinson. It's me again, yes. literary agent. I'm just Hello. coming in to remind you again that your name was in the previous scene, Mr. Spoigo Robinson. Just in case that's relevant later on. Bye. Uh, yes, of course. Um, Mr. Spoigo. You do know uh, who you're talking to, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm a big fan it's of your work. Spoiler Robinson. I, I'm a big. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm a big fan of your work. Um, oh, good. Yes. And and the question that you asked me about, like, what was my favorite part? It has to be the the the, the epilogue, um, just mm. when you wrapped up all 
everything together was just really, really, really nice. Um, hmm. That thing in Vietnam was just crazy. Um, yes. But uh, I think more so, it really, it, it gave me a, you know, it, when I was reading it, I couldn't, mm. I couldn't stop watching it. Um, I couldn't stop reading yes. it. Um, yes, uh, it, it did take me quite a while to, uh, to write that part of the book. Um, and I had to do a, a fair bit of research, but um, I'm glad that it paid off to some people, of course. Sometimes... Do you mind reading me? Do you mind reading me just like a couple sentences on the epilogue? <laughs> yes, of course. Let me just do that now. The bit in Vietnam, you said, yes? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I really liked my time. <laughs> <in Vietnam. laughs> what? Uh, what? My favorite part of going to Vietnam was that the ice cream was so tasty. <laughs> and that's the show? <laughs> Um, well, what a show, show it was. Um, if you also want to buy John's pirate erotica, um, well, I, I, I guess the question is, where could we find you online? Me? Yeah. Hmm. Where, you, where you can find me online? Yeah. I mean, uh... preferably what I'm asking here, and it's been a while, so I haven't checked, but John... Yeah. Do you still have a Twitter? And follow up question: Is it still describable as on fuego? Oh yeah. Yes. yes my Twitter is still on fire. Um, <laughs> I have not. I have not tweeted in. I, I think a year. But if you look back at the other, at the previous tweets, you'd find absolute fire. Um, yeah. I but find it quite interesting. Find, Sorry, just just quickly, John. I find it was quite yeah. interesting that uh, obviously your Twitter has been on fire for ages, whereas now Twitter itself as a company is on fire, which is yes. which is great. Anyway, sorry. So if we could find you anywhere else, John, it it, it just that that makes perfect sense. I think yeah. I think my Twitter started the fire, which then yeah. engulfed the whole of Twitter. But usually, I'm using Instagram at the moment, which is uh, at Gallica Portero, and find me for some funny reels and funny stories. Whatever. I can say that with John's um, John's Instagrams, you're going to have some chuckles, some laughs, mm -hmm. maybe some guffaws, and perhaps a couple of grimaces. Oh, oh! I love that big purple fuck. Oh, and no. going from Big Purple Fox to <laughs> Tom, um, where can we find Hi. you online? <laughs> can we find uh, you online still? Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. You can. There's not a lot of play. There's, I mean, you can go onto my Instagram if you want, Tom Pullengram. I would. But I don't do anything on there. I just lurk around. I'm lurking around. Ooh, I... like... I can Message. tell you that right. Tom Pullen on Instagram, he, if you're friends with him, he sends some really good recommendations for other people's Instagrams. Yeah, yeah. he's. Yeah. If you also, if you, if you're also friends with Tom on Instagram, he will send you funny private messages. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I'm not saying that he necessarily everything he posts publicly is very funny. Mm. The stuff that is meant to be funny is, but. Yeah. Private messaging, Tom, very funny. Become friends yeah, with yeah. Tom. That's my recommendation yeah. today. Yeah, I would yeah. That. yeah that, that's it. That's it. Encourage people, random people on the internet to, well, <laughs> let's, let's encourage uh, your, your mum and dad to uh, slide let's, into my No, DMs. no, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> my mum and dad stopped watching a while back. Uh, we're encouraging Joe Askew to still be your friend. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Um, and does Boat Club still have a Twitter? Uh, I think so. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Try and find know. it. I'll find it. <laughs> we yeah. dare you. Yeah, if you find, you find it, it, let us know. Okay, uh, you, Joe, talk, you do your bit, you? and then I'll do the boat club bit. Uh, I'm on the various socials at Joe Ranch Car. That's all one word: Joe J O E Ranch Car. And you can also find me through those uh, at my link tree for links to all the other things that I'm not doing currently. Mm. Uh, and yeah, 
I think the way I used to end this was with um, recipes. And I'm just interested to know, have either of you two ever tried making your own ice cream? And if so, do you have a recipe for that? If not, feel free to just shout out what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. Mine, pistachio. Uh, mine is, I once had a um, praline flavored one Ooh. and it was pretty incredible um it's at boat club improv oh cool oh wow it does exist it does it's, exist it's <laughs> 27 following you you wow. can't find us on blue sky or threads yeah no yet uh my favorite flavor ice cream has to be one that i discovered recently which is ben and jerry's uh i'm sponsored by ben and jerry's ben and uh, jerry's yeah, uh, I'm only sponsored by Ben. <laughs> I'm both Ben and Jerry's. Um, Uncle Ben? You're <laughs> sponsored by Uncle Ben? Yeah, I'm sponsored Uncle by Ben's Uncle rice. Ben, but just the ice cream. <laughs> the churro flavor. Yeah, yeah churro Uncle flavor. Uncle Ben's rice cream. Fine. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I've just got breaking news. Oh. Uh, uh, it turns out that uh, Boat Club have just signed a the people at the the top the top brass uh, they've just signed a uh, eight figure deal um, with uh, Big Toaster for the next ten seasons of Boat wow. Club. Wow! Yeah, that's almost eight episodes of Boat Club. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>